He was cold, perfectly safe from the emotions that I couldn't help but feel. I tried to sweep everything under the rug and carry on, but it was hopeless. Hate, love, attraction, fear, repulsion for who he was and what he did, and so many other things ran through my veins and mixed with my blood. I was infected. He raised an eyebrow. His hair was messy, a sign that he had run his hands through it several times before our encounter. He was wearing a black tee and gray track pants. I could have ripped it all off in seconds. His hands were behind his back, carefully hiding the mystery item from the drawer. I concentrated my attention on his tightly sealed lips. I was desperate to see them move, to hear words come from them, to feel them against my own. I knew that the last part was out of the question, but the idea of it still drove me mad.